I'm Rachel Clare from Crying Out Loud and this summer we have a tour which is taking extraordinary new circus to 30 different um, rural and village communities in the southwest. We're collaborating with Take Art and this is a bit of, it's a bit of a new idea, it's a pilot to take more circus to more people. We've performed everywhere from the beach in Western Supermare through to fields and village greens and then here where we are in Goathurst in this extraordinary lawn in front of the house. You turn up in a tiny village with one village hall and one pub and the stage is being set up and you think we're not gonna have an audience for this and then an hour before the show camping chairs are out people are having a picnic and it's full and there's like 150 200 people sat waiting for us and it's just amazing that each place we go to has such a community that comes out and watches shows and that we get to turn up and perform for them. I don't know what you've found with the other counties, but I've found it's really attracted a very diverse range of audiences. Everybody from sort of two to 82. And I think particularly this year when people have been having a holiday at home, a staycation or whatever, it's really nice that we've brought something into their village for them to come and see. And um, mostly the shows have been ticketed and I think almost all of them have sold out. We just had beautiful sunset rolling hills behind us. Everyone loved it. We were perfectly lit. Shadows, like long shadows on the stage. It was beautiful, yeah. yeah. This is the second time we've seen the show uh, and it didn't fail at all. It was absolutely brilliant. We enjoyed every minute, didn't we? Did you yeah, help? yeah, it gets better every time you see it. Yeah, Does fantastic. It? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, you, and you saw the um, a simple cipher roll up, roll up as well? Absolutely fantastic. Yeah, nice blend with the hoop and the break dancing as well. And it really kind of really keeps you captured and you're waiting for the next trick or the juggling. <laughs> there was just so many things in the show. It was absolutely great. Sort of the idea is to sort of challenge the conventional notion of what circus is and it's really to reflect what is happening at the moment in contemporary performance and circus so whilst there isn't always a narrative the artists that we work with have something to say so it's storytelling of with of an unusual kind using combining circus skills and um, theatre and dance all in one. I think um, that circus is something that audiences sort of think they, they, they know what it is, so they're very comfortable coming to see a circus show, but they're not necessarily expecting a London cab, a uh, taxi cab with, a, with an aerial rig or, or a, a seer wheel, which perhaps they've never seen before. So it's been really good to bring such high quality um, circus performances to, to rural areas. Yeah, I think one thing is that audiences quite often feel a little bit cautious that it might be interactive they might be drawn out of the audience to participate because yeah. it's a kind of like busking vibe to it where you pitch up and stop and watch something yeah. uh, but we don't we don't make anybody interact and, and we it, it's, at times it's been quite hard to get people to come and sit down close enough if we want to the stage and then we reassure them it's okay it, it's not you won't be part of the show you won't be picked out you're just audience so yeah. they feel a bit happy about it then yeah we had such a nice group of 12 10 or 12 students yeah. kids and they were just so involved and so up mm. for learning and so up for being pushed mm. creatively and like learning new skills and having a good time. Mm. You say that, but I actually thought nice. when they arrived, I thought they were all really nervous, which is, I guess, expected. But as soon as it started, as yeah. soon as they got to play, as soon as they kind of just got into it, like the kids that were really nervous suddenly just started like sparking up. Have you all just seen both of the we circus have, shows? Yeah. Fabulous. Oh, you enjoyed them? Yeah, I really didn't know what I was coming to see. My wife bought the tickets, I came along, she said something about a circus, and I said, right, yeah, let's have some of this. And the two shows are, are terrific. I thought they were fantastic. Great. It's, yeah. I mean, if you were eight or 80, it was great. We've promoted many Take Art events in the past, probably over about the last all 15, 17 years. This is the first circus performance that we've had. The population of Goathurst is about 180 to 200 people, depending on where you envisage the boundary. Rural touring has been established for so, so many years. Yeah. And for the first time, because of the pandemic, this year, obviously, we're outdoors. Yeah, exactly. So what interests me is that is the way that maybe circus and contemporary performance and contemporary circus can be like a gateway to something new. 
Definitely, I think we've, we've always been a little bit nervous about promoting work outside. Uh, obviously the weather's a big factor, um, but by dint of circumstance, obviously uh, having performances outside has, is a bit, bit of a sweet spot mm. in the summer of 2021. From my point of view, I've always felt, or more recently felt, that there's real opportunity to tour circus into rural venues. I feel that many of our audiences are family audiences, and while we've had circus from time to time, we've never had a concerted kind of strategic effort to try and get circus into rural touring. Mm. And I'm really, really pleased with the way the tour has gone so far with the, with the four very, very different companies that we've mm. had. There have been a lot of little lessons, I think overall, it feels like it's gone very well. There are lots of little things though that I'm sure that we can tweak mm. to make it even better. And from my point of view, I'm interested to know how it's felt from you as a producing company uh, in terms of taking circus into a new realm mm. and what you feel the, the reaction has been from the artists that you've worked with. Well, for us, it's been extraordinary to go into such small spaces because normally, I mean, we do tour in small places, but in general, we go to mid-scale touring. So this has been a great opportunity for artists to reconfigure their work and also to give opportunities to artists who during the pandemic had very little opportunity to um, develop work that was of a scale like this. So I think one of the benefits of the artists is that we've been able to pay them to rework their indoor shows to be outside. Um, it's also like you, we've been on a learning curve and we've also really understood about the needs of rural touring. Every show afterwards, everyone really wants to come over and talk to us and say thank you. And like, they're always really grateful. It's like when we finish the show, you know, there's, there's no backstage, like, we're still there, we're just like, yeah, hi, <laughs> it's finished now. And then they, they come over and speak to us, which is nice. And with the pandemic, obviously, this is a perfect opportunity to experiment with taking this type of circus outdoors. So you can see from this setting here, we're in a, in a, in a very rural um, situation. And normally circus wouldn't get to this type of location. So... This pilot is really to test the water and to see how we can introduce circus and contemporary performance to rural communities. I would wholeheartedly suggest my fellow artists do rural mm. touring. If it's anything as well organised as this, I would say do it, yeah. definitely. Often you won't have lighting or very technical sound um, or a backstage or wings. Hard to have tech in your show because it's a nice limitation. It's like, cool, I've got an eight by eight stage. That's my blank canvas. What can I do on that with two speakers? Nothing else. Only what natural lighting there is and what the audience can see, that's, that's what I've got to make. And I think that it's a really nice boundary and set of walls to kind of work within. Thank you to everyone involved yeah. behind the scenes that has <laughs> made this tour happen. Yeah, from Take Art and Crying Out Loud, Arts Council funding. Yeah, yeah. we just turn up, Simple but there's so club. much more work that goes on yeah, behind it. Exactly, yeah. yeah. I mean, we don't just turn up. <laughs> That's downplaying <laughs> our role, but yes. Yeah, yeah, there's definitely a lot of work behind the scenes.